Alright, so we might check out Oh My Girl, whose song for Queen of their single has dropped, and it's called Guerrilla. I think that's how you pronounce it in Spanish. I'm Hispanic and I'm struggling to pronounce it. Guerrilla. I don't know how they pronounce it. Guerrilla. 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 I'm such a fraud. Anyways, you might check out uh, Oh My Girl's single and listen, they dropped last night. I haven't checked out the little soundbite teasers that they gave out that do like a 10, 11 seconds, like a few hours before the releases. I haven't checked those out. So I've come into all of these fresh, clean, and I actually was going to stop uh, before I checked out Idols, which I checked out just before this because I was feeling dead. And then I like went, laid down for like 15 minutes. It went away. And I checked out idols and woke right the fuck back up. So now I'm here. And you don't have to wait till tomorrow to watch my reaction to Oh My Girls. So let's check out Oh My Girls. Oh, by the way, listen, listen. I've checked out all the performances so far. You have to follow me on Twitter. I'll be very vigilant. Uh, vigilant? I'm a villain. You'll be very vigilant on YouTube with the community tab. They're the only ways you'll know when I post them because I can't make videos on YouTube about them. So. If you want to know, if you want to watch the ones I've already checked out, follow me on Twitter, you'll see the post. You can check the community tab on YouTube and you'll see the post as well. But the easiest way would be to follow me on Twitter and you'll see the the uh, the tweets. The tweets. What is wrong with me? I, oh my girl, gorilla or guerrilla. Motherfucking pictures. <laughs> Sing that shit, Benny. Her high ponytail game was on point just now. Also, thought you watched here was real. Stayed on Sangi, I think it's your John. Hold on. Dude, these singles. <laughs> I'm so glad we're here now. instrumental to this and the way they're singing it I'm so glad we're here Your name 
sparkles, so yeah, okay. Door oh, inspiration, that shit again. Hold on, hold on. Proper, proper high. Live, these live performances are gonna be so good. Like, I get really excited. I start like internally shaking, like I have a fever or something. Like, that whole part right there, like from like, I'm like right here, right here. Or something like he was talking the most sparkling names, okay? It, it made me like shake internally so much. <laughs> Listen, if you watch all my reactions to these singles, then I'm gonna sound a bit like I broke on record when I mention this, bro. But like, my. My opinion on the show has like changed so much like the more we got into it. Like at the beginning it seemed a lot like it would cause what it, what they said. It, it was supposed to be I think it was advertised as a comeback war or release war whatever it was called. Um something along those lines. I don't think those words are the exact words, but people thought it would incite kind of like fan wars and things like that. That's what it like the way they promoted it and like put it out there as and some of the things they did in the show kind of like edged it in that direction. I feel like j just cause I, I familiarize myself more so with these fandoms and these groups and boom, that I was just like, listen, there's no way, at least from uh, a Moo Moo perspective, being a Moo Moo and like knowing Mama Moo, there's no way you're gonna get Mama Moo to do some stupid shit <laughs> that would like be like intentionally evil towards another group, no matter how much they tried. Like it wasn't really gonna happen. And if they were forced to do so, that would probably be the only reason they do it. And then it was the same thing, like watching like groups like Oh My God and that. Like I, I don't know, bro. Like I don't know. There's, there's, like this part of me that wants a season two now, and I didn't even want the season one to happen. Dude, this is so good. This is so good. And they're gonna perform this live. They're gonna go off like that in that last chorus live. I wish they all had MVs, bro. I wish like these were comebacks, like full on comebacks. Unless you're paying attention to Queendom, they were really kind of released discreetly, you know. Um, I actually didn't even realize that they were going to release last night when they did drop. I thought they were going to release in the morning like it was comeback time, you know? Even though I knew there weren't envies, uh, I thought it would release like comeback time, like 6 a.m. for me. Um, and it didn't. It released like 6 hours earlier. So while I think it was like midday in South Korea, it was like overnight for me, like 11 p.m. More of Oh My Girl just being the fucking magical beings that they are, yeah. That's what this is. It's like this show, this show plus some groups that are like underrated, some groups that are like well known and OGs and stuff like that, all on the same stages. Like it's, it was such a beautiful thing. Like I'm telling you, like it felt so good. This is like this cross-generational stuff going on, on on screen. It was amazing. Y'all already know how much love I have for Oh My Girl. And they absolutely destroyed this. Their stages just got better and better. Like their first stage is like the most music show, like we're performing our show on a music show kind of stage. And they just progressively got more and more creative and more and more mesmerizing in the stages and it was I, I just love that they put their shine out there on a show on Eminem like this and it was, it was I, I kind of like Queen though bro <laughs> I kind of really like this show Man, I'm not so